Last year, Canon released a firmware update that completely changed my opinion on the EOS R because it dramatically improved the autofocus. Nikon Z, I've had my opinions about this camera, but the version three firmware has changed how this, ca there's that guy with that Volkswagen. But we're gonna test it out today. Jessica, modeling for me today. Mm. I'm not really You got your baby fat jeans on? Uh, I gotta say, I'm not a model. I'm just, I happen to tag along to this, so. But you're I'm not, you're not gonna model, you're just gonna move around. I'm just gonna be, stand I'm standing in, pretty much. Jessica, do you wanna be like a fake bride, really quick? Not in real life, but in video, yeah. In video, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so stand over there, and I want you walking in a straight line this way. So go back over, go over there. Man, you, you're just out here embarrassing me for this review, aren't you? Is that what it is? You're try, pretending it's a review, but it's just like you. Ye he's gonna be like, do a little hopscotch, you know what I mean? Hopscotch, right? No. I know oh, what yeah. your are. <laughs> Imagine Jessica being a bride at a wedding. They're walking down the aisle, right? Instead of having keeping my focus point on her, a Nikon allows me to use subject tracking to track her, and then I can wrinkle pose my shot in the frame. Watch this. So I press F and one and now it brings up the white box. I can use AF on to grab onto her, and look, I can continue to move across the frame and she's gonna be in focus, and it's gonna continually track her. Okay, so walk in, a, walk in a straight line. So it's got her. Look, I can compose my shot however I want. Look, it's continuing to track her. Look, look at this, look at this. Even if I zoom in and out, I lost it there, hold on. Subject tracking works pretty well, but obviously, it isn't perfect. Two of those shots were out of focus. Now, what do you do when that happens? When that yellow box starts to focus on something else, what you do is that you let go of AF on and then you just reacquire by pressing AF on again and continue to take pictures. So it isn't perfect, but there is a quick workaround and um, I don't see it being a problem in the field. You just have to know how to use the camera and just be prepared for that yellow box to just go crazy sometimes. So I'm gonna press FN1. It brings up my white box. I can just leave it in the middle. I'm gonna grab onto that lady, AF on, boom. Oh, I grabbed, okay, so it's not perfect. See, look, see how it tracks her through the frame? Really nice. So it's not perfect, as you see, it gets lost sometimes when someone's like crossing by that much. I'm gonna lock onto her, let's see. Let's see, see? It, it stays with her, it stays with her as she moves through the frame. So I'm gonna start grabbing onto subjects. FN1 is the button that I press to bring up the white box. I'm gonna grab onto her, boom, locked on. Locked on, you see that? Boom. Watch, look, boom, locks on. It, and it follows through the frame. Let's keep going. Okay, this lady's gonna cross me. She's feeling a little weird. Look, I see how I grabbed onto her face? Now it's gonna just keep tracking her. And keep tracking, let's see if she gets lost. Oh yeah, I grabbed onto him. Yep, so it's not perfect. It, if, if there is a crowd of people, it will start to track different people. This guy right here, let's get him. Boom. There you go, got him. Boom, boom. See, for a second there, I focused on him and it jumped up. Boom, see that? It's like focusing and recomposing. Boom. Look at that. Boom. All right, so now that I tested with a native lens, a 2470, I'm gonna shoot it now with the 105, 1.4. It is adapted. So let's see how the subject tracking works with an adapted lens. That's what I'm really curious to see here because this is my favorite Nikon lens right now. I was tracking him. Look at that. Track the back of his head. Look at that. All right, let's see. Let's see what else we got. Him. Let's go with this guy with the cap. Oh, he sees me. Let's get the guy in the back right there with the glasses. Look at that. That is crazy. Get her. Wait. Yep. Okay. Oh. Oh, right there. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to put her at the corner of the frame. Look at that. Wow. Wow, it seems to work really well. I'm going to turn this way. This was the most impressive part of my test. Using an adapted lens at f1.4, every single one of these shots was in focus and there were things in the scene to kind of distract it, but it stuck onto her and every shot was in perfect focus. Now, I know that this firmware wasn't supposed to like completely transform the subject tracking. What it was, it created an easier way to access subject tracking. 
it does like making it easier to use on the field um but honestly i feel like it was improved yes it's still kind of quirky overall the, the af is still quirky on the nikon z6 but the usability of it has gotten better with this subject tracking i feel like the algorithm was adjusted it for me it is a little bit more accurate a little bit more uh sticky shall i say and that's a great thing go iaf is active it is on continuous mode now jessica i want you i know nikon didn't officially say that they improved the eye or the face detection with this latest firmware but i wanted to test it out anyways remember i've had this camera for over a year now and in my opinion it's the same it's not improved but it's still plenty good enough for anyone out there that's shooting portraits that needs accurate eye detection yes this it's still gonna back focus on you this is the 24 to 70 lens really good auto focusing lens and it still back focuses it still has quirky moments but it's still plenty good enough for anyone that needs accurate eye detection for example i did an astronaut themed photo shoot in the valley of fire with the nikon z6 for the first time i didn't curse at the camera not once it did everything i wanted it to do especially since i started using the subject tracking more being able to use fn1 to um activate it made the process so much easier i can't stress that enough you just have to learn how to use the camera now with this hot key for subject tracking it made my life so much easier with this camera expect me to be using it more for my photo shoots the nikon z6 i've had this camera for about a year now i shot commercial jobs paid jobs model shoots even most of my previous videos on this channel have been shot with this camera. I could say so many good things about it, but I'm going to just focus on the autofocusing system. I shoot with Sony, Canon, and Fuji as well. This is the quirkiest, but I've noticed in a slight improvement in the autofocus and the hit rate that you do get on it. All right, so many of you know that I give the Z6 a hard time for its non, not very smart autofocus. But at this point in 2020, you can't buy a bad camera. Z6, A7 III, Canon R, whatever. Uh, you can't buy a bad camera. These cameras are all very capable and it just all depends on how you use it. If you give me this camera, now that I'm, I'm pretty experienced with it, I can shoot anything that I can probably shoot with my Sony and the Canon. I can do it with the Z6. You just have to know how to use it. Like I said, this camera isn't the smartest autofocus in terms of wide area AF, right? Sony and Canon and Fuji, for the most part, they know what the subject is in a frame. They know what I want to focus on. You know what I'm saying? And with the Nikon, some it'll just start going quirky. It'll go back. It'll start back focusing. The camera makes up in so many other areas, right? The image quality, dynamic range, the EVF, the rear screen, the way the, the camera sounds. And you can't, you know, that's something very minor. But the way the camera feels and sounds also it has has an effect on you right this camera is really fun to use i in my opinion it looks the best out of all of them so there's a lot to like about the nikon z6 i just personally think that you know anyone out there looking for a camera i think that the autofocusing being a problem is not a problem anymore i think that you know you just got to learn how to use it and when you're buying a camera i think lens selection the prices of the lenses and brand loyalty if you have one I mean, those are the primary reasons for buying a camera in 2020 kudos to nikon for updating this camera making it better and they're continually just making it better and that's pretty awesome um anxious to see what more they can do to this camera i know they have animal iaf i i'm not i don't shoot animals but um i there's plenty of videos on youtube already on that so anyways uh stay tuned for more content on the nikon z6 this is primary primarily my youtube camera because i can record the viewfinder using a ninja atmos recorder and it's great for my tutorials but i'm still a sony shooter mainly okay anyways thanks for watching subscribe if you're not already and i'll see you in the next one what you're saying. What you're saying.